Hello, my name is Brett Hansen. I'm with Medical Inventory Control. Uh, I will be making this video in order to instruct your staff on how to properly install and hook up a Stryker 1288 or an, a Stryker 1188 endoscopy tower system. The components I have here are a 1288 camera box with a 1288 camera head an X8000 light source, an SDC Ultra, and a printer. Uh, this is as close to your facility's setup as I could come up with on site. So to get started here, it, it looks a lot more complicated than it is, I promise. Um, but this will better help you uh, to determine if something is just simply unhooked, something's not working, so on and so forth. You can at least start here to verify that things are hooked up properly. Okay, starting with the camera box. The camera box has multiple outputs, um, but the camera box only has outputs. So nothing's running through it. It's all coming, every, every signal, every camera signal is coming uh, into and from the camera box. So I'm going to start here with the remotes. Okay, these are very important. Uh, they are, as you can see there, they are labeled remote 1 and remote 2. Uh, they're very important because remote 1, uh, they control the camera functions. So when you uh, press uh, photo or record on the camera head itself, uh, this is what tells the computer or the SDC to take a photo or to record. Now they're indicated with a one and a two, the one being photos, uh, the two being video. Um, I will explain once I get down to the SDC uh, what's important about these and making sure that you get the one in the one spot and the two in the two spot. Uh, but I'm going to move on to uh, this next here is the S-Video cable. Um, it, it is just a, a video out um, and then and that's kind of the uh, standard definition uh, as far as video quality goes. Um, it's, it's, I use it more of uh, a backup um, that way <clears throat> that way in case your digital output stops stops functioning for whatever reason you can simply f switch over to the S video and be able to still see what you're doing during a procedure so what you have here is called a DVI or a digital video input um, this cable is just your digital out um, it's comparable to an HDMI cable for uh, for uh, te a television these days okay so moving on you have the X8000 light source um, the only component, the only thing that I have hooked up with this cable-wise is just a power cord. Uh, you can, it is capable to hook up to Sydney, but it's, you know, that, that's not what the setup that you guys have. Um, moving on to the SDC. Uh, the SDC has an awful lot of uh, hookups in the back of it, but uh, I promise it's real simple. Um, because you're only using one camera box, we're going to focus more on this channel and it actually says below here it actually says channel one for this this box here is channel one um, and that's all that we're going to be dealing with if you had a, ca a second camera box then you could be able to use uh, channel two but that's not what we're going to get into um, so anyway as I was stating before on the camera box itself it has a remote one and a remote two cable coming from it and you want to make sure I have these indicated with two uh, different colors just to make it that much easier on myself uh, the remote one being taking photos via the camera head the button on the camera head so you press the photo button once and it will take a photo and that is because of these these particular uh, cables that are plugged in now, so the first one being photo, second one being video. If for whatever reason on the camera head, you went to take a photo, so you press the photo button once, and instead of taking a photo, it starts taking video. Well, the, the reason it would do that is if these were actually swapped. 
So it's just it's just good information, just something to keep in mind. Okay, so your camera box is hooked up here via your remotes, and then it will also you'll have your your DVI cable. Uh, this is the DVI in, and this is the DVI out. So this is the cable that is coming from your camera box. So your camera box output, the DVI cable comes right here to the input on the channel one of the SDC. Okay, and then the DVI out is going to be the cable that goes to the back of your monitor on the top of your tower. Now I also have the S video, uh, and this is set up the same way. And the reason it's in channel two is just because that's where those video inputs are at. It, as you can see in the channel one slot, there is not an S video in or out. Um, it, it's no, and for no particular reason. Um, so I have the S video coming from the camera box to here, and then coming out to uh, this out going to the back of the monitor uh, okay over here you have uh, this AB cable and this is actually your printer cable so I have it plugged into this particular slot on the back of the SDC um, as far as I know you could use either one of these USB slots but I always use the top one and it always seems to work for me so I have it hooked in there um, on your printer, your printer should have basically just two uh, two places to, to be plugged in at. One of them being <coughs> one of them being, excuse me, uh, the power cord, and then the next being the AB cord uh, that attaches it to your SDC. Okay, so your SDC, everything from it, your outputs from the SDC come up to the back of your monitor. The back of your monitor has uh, these labels for all of the all of the inputs here on top. So currently, the only things that are plugged into the back of the monitor are the power cord here, the DVI cable, the digital video cable, and that's this right here. And remember, that's coming from the output of the SDC, and then also the S video which is this cable that is also coming from the SDC. Okay, that, that concludes how to properly hook up the 1188 or 1288 tower. Uh, please reference your manuals. Um, I, I know you guys happen to have a different printer, so uh, if there, is, there shouldn't be anything different about it. Uh, but please reference your manual if there if anything that I have said has uh, caused any sort of confusion and feel free to call me if you have any additional questions. Thank you.